Hello and welcome to the Academia and uh, welcome my viewers, welcome to the channel uh, and I, I would like to thank you, I would like to thank everyone who come and watch my videos regularly. Today we are going to take a case study which is uh, for sheet metal design and this sheet metal design will you know help you to understand that how to create few parts which will help you to keep your structure strong and uh, durable okay as you know that in general sheet metals are very thin uh, thin or uh, the thickness are very uh, minimum like from 1 mm to hardly 10 to 15 mm okay but 10 to 15 mm are considered as a heavy uh, sheet okay so generally we use uh, um, two to eight mm sheet okay suppose that we have this uh, uh, Suppose that we have this sheet and we are keeping this its thickness up to 4 mm and its bend radius we are keeping it 4 mm as well. So we have this uh, 300 by 200 mm uh, dimension and 4 mm thick sheet metal. Okay. And uh, suppose that this is the base and we are having a it's a corner okay of uh, 150 okay this is a 150 okay <clears throat> and uh, we are using uh, iron as a material for this okay so this is now a iron sheet okay so you can clearly see that there is a bend this is a bend okay and this is the outer radius okay and this is the inner radius when you start designing and start considering the standards and other elements okay then you will understand each and everything correctly then what you need to do so for that i am using this simple case study so suppose that you uh, just uh, bend this sheet okay at a 90 degree of angle okay but uh, if someone will ask you that how much you are sure that this structure is as will be stable and this will not like fluctuate from any side of either side of this uh, its axis so there is a <clears throat> many uh, possibilities that if a certain force will apply either on this side or in this side it will be fluctuate because there is no support and it may also that it can bend up to the this level of so that uh, to check it let's move to uh, it's a structural you know design uh, we are going to analysis it it's a, a static analysis simply i am just fixing this whole sheet okay i am fixing this whole sheet and i am keeping this uh, free and i am going to apply uh, 1000 newton force from this side of okay and then i am calculating it okay so everything is perfect and if you will check it now you can see that the, uh, because the lack of any support our structure you know just bend with the application of 1000 newton force 
we are this we are witnessing this uh, type of failure okay so as you can see that there is a, a red patches around the corner of the bend so it shows that there is a maximum probability that this sheet will be break from this these points okay so it can be it can be broken it can be teared or it can be separated from this particular point okay and also the 1000 1000 newton force can be permissible beyond the permissible force required to bend this material okay and uh, if you want to check its uh, particles now you can see that with the let me show you something here you can see here the transition displacement the this is this is a this you can see here these are the dotted lines which is showing the transition uh, sorry translational displacement which means that from one place to the another okay and these are the values uh, the most safe value you can say that you know the and within the factor of safety it, it can be considered at this okay so you can calculate on boundaries okay number of colors 10 you can choose many uh, like i'm choosing 20 so it will okay so now we have many values okay okay to understand this thing correctly okay and to overcome these thing what we can do okay what we can do so that our structure will be perfect and to uh, get that let's create uh, suppose that this is a uh, same structure we have what i am going to do is that i am just creating a stiffening and uh, for that i'm just using its center okay so now you can see here i'm creating it uh, i'm using a 50 mm and the radius would be 4 mm and this radius was, would also be 4 mm and the angle will be 80 degree correct okay so this is what we have this is now a support as you can clearly see that i created a support here okay this is a structure which is generally used by the punch and press operation so now we are going to uh, uh, analyze this with the different case study and so for that we are moving towards second analysis okay and for that i am going to uh, create same parameters so that we can uh, and now this, we have this extra element so i am going to fix it as well okay now calculate it i'm oh, sorry uh, we need to apply the force so i am applying same amount of force uh, okay and now calculate it okay uh let's check it so you can clearly see the change okay the change is now you can clearly see that there is no probability of breaking of this material from its bend point okay so every load has been now concentrated over this uh, crown of this this uh, slot okay and the reason is that this is a uni support okay generally for such type of a structure we create multiple support using the uh, guidelines okay from where we can create okay so this was just a simple example and a case study that how you can reduce the probability of failure so with the use of one slot 
you are now able to uh, reduce it, minimize it, okay? And if you will, uh, if you will use more than one of this, uh, like two on the end of the corner, so in that case, this structure will be more stronger and more reliable. So as I saw you that how we can create a analysis and also you, uh, I, I think you understood that how we use this uh, uh, in a sheet metal design. Okay. And this is one kind of real time example. And uh, I will come with many more with a very different examples with industrial example in and uh, I would like to add few informations for you guys. Any one of you who is looking to uh, develop his uh, industrial design skills, we can uh, do a workshop that will be free of cost. And uh, also, I will I would uh, you know give you to generate how we generally do the pro product uh, portfolio design portfolio and many things there are many things to discuss but this will be happen only when we will interact with each other so i hope this this short of design you enjoyed this and you liked it uh, okay so and if you want to oh, sorry if you want to watch it in a video just saw this you can see it that how when we apply the force and then what are the effects we can get on it okay in case of uh, this and uh, transitional displacement okay uh, i am just uh, minimizing the speed so that you can find it more okay And uh, for this, okay, and this is it for the session. This is it for the video. And I made my promise and I, I uploaded it. So please do like and subscribe my channel. And please keep watching my videos. And I, thank you. Thank you, everyone. No matter how much subscribers I, I do have but i'm satisfied that is it because i needed a platform where i can interact with many peoples so i'm doing that thing this is it for me and thank you and please practice and if you will um, if you will not be able to perform or create such things you can add your comment in the comment box what kind of problem you are facing what kind of uh, practice you want to do or what kind of uh, content you want with the, this Katia if I can do I will be surely upload relatable video this is it thank you very much thank you